Okay, are we going? Ha. Okay, I have not made a YouTube video in a very long time. I'm gonna make this one on my phone. Anyone who's following me, you know me as a pole vaulter. Also, look, I got this cool little light. Oh, look at that, look how professional. But I wanna share more of my hobbies with you guys. I think a lot of people will find them interesting. This video is gonna focus on plants. Like I'm doing plant stuff today. Spring is here, well, almost. And so I'm just really getting more into the plant stuff. So yeah, today I'm gonna be doing a few things. First thing is a buddy of mine just bought some land and he wants some trees to plant on his land. I said, I actually have a bunch of baby trees for you. One of my trees drops these seeds and trees are just popping up all over the place. I will show you. Also, please do not mind my uh, terrible grass. There's my shed. I'm very proud of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. That's my other dog, Nim. Nim and Rango. I have been looking all over everywhere for my hand travel and it's literally right there. How hard this ground is. Yeah, let me start with the big shovel. This shovel's awesome for excavating. Bunch of baby trees. Okay, I'm going back in the shed. I got them all out. You guys didn't need to see all that. That was kind of boring. We have a lot of baby trees. Oh, my light. My nose is red. I'm cold. It's cold out here. I'm gonna make this fast. Ooh, rusted spoon holder for the kitchen that works perfectly for scooping out soil. And we will go inside where it's nice and warm. Hello. Okay. Gotta be careful because the birds are out. Hello. Okay, our little trees are in their new container and ready to go to their new home. But also what I'm gonna be doing is going around checking the water in all of my plants. I water with distilled because our water here is very, very chlorinated. And also a little tip is every single time you water, put just a little bit of plant food in there. I use these watering can singles by Miracle Grow. That's what I use. And I just put, I don't know, maybe a third of this in an entire thing. And every time I water. If I have any tips for new plant owners, it's get pots with drainage holes. I don't even know why they make pots without them because that is the number one way to kill plants is to get a pot without a drainage hole and you overwater it and you don't know that the roots are just sitting there rotting. That's a happy pothos right there. I think this is one of my favorites. We're gonna go in here to my sunroom where I just went around and sprinkled a little bit of this uh, insect control in some of my main plants that have issues. Now this stuff is poisonous so do not use it outdoors because it's very bad if it gets into the local water, groundwater, so you only use it on indoor plants. This one is one of my favorites. She's called a Stromanthe Triostar. All right, I'm going back to the shed because I've got more to do. It's, that's the amazing thing is once you start taking care of your plants and you do one thing, it leads to another thing and that leads to another thing. This pothos, I noticed, if you look down in the pot, needs more soil. And you'll learn that with your plants. You just gotta replace the soil every once in a while and there's like a big divot in there. I mean, I'm just gonna add a handful of soil to this little guy. It's really important with your house plants to fertilize or change out the topsoil every once in a while. Once a year, I would say you need to add more soil because they suck up all the nutrients and the soil just gets crummy. And so the best thing to do is just add more soil. You don't necessarily have to repot plants. People love to like repot the heck out of stuff. You don't need to repot. Leave it in the same pot unless it's super root bound. 
just change out and put some fresh soil. Well, that just made a mess, but solved our buddy's little problem here. I'm gonna put you back. Don't worry, little buddy. I just made a big old mess of my face. Okay, and the last thing I really need to do today is move my entire plant rack away from the window because my lovely husband. <laughs> I'm putting you on blast. Well, I decided it was a good idea to get him a BB gun for Christmas. Terrible idea. Well, this is what happened. Why did this happen? Hmm? It was a sheer freak occurrence of physics. Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Bonk! And it breaks my window while I was actually standing there watering plants. I stormed out the back door like an angry mom. But anyway, so now I'm gonna move this entire rack because we have the window guy coming tomorrow morning. Finally, I've been waiting weeks. All right, you're gonna go right here, buddy. I'll give you a full plant tour another time, but here's some of my beautiful plants. There's some more. Oh, good job. Okay, another order of business for today is I need to clean the stinky snake cage. Yes, I have snakes. Oh, she thinks it's feeding time. See her head? She goes, ooh, is it time to eat? <laughs> Hello, do you have a rat for me? <laughs> so I basically have to snap her out of feeding mode before she Bites me. Okay. Now she knows it's me. You have to move her. She goes, oh, it's not time to eat. Darn it. We got ourselves a shed. It's a nice shed. You want the snake to shed in one long piece. That means the humidity is correct. If they're shedding in multiple pieces, the humidity needs to be higher. Hey, girl. Let me take her out first and then we can give her a whole cage of fresh, clean. This is my girl Clementine. She is a red-tailed boa constrictor. A sun glow is the color. Very similar to albino, as you can see. She's gonna hang out over here in this box while I clean her cage. Keep your little head in there. Here's my uh, little thermometer. So this was on the cool side of the cage. 77.2. And the hot side, is over here. This is the radiant heat panel. So this sucker, if I left this here, this should be 95 degrees coming off the top of that. And let me tell you, puppy pads are the best thing ever because they soak up all of the liquid and make cleaning 10 times easier than it would be if I used something like newspaper. All right, so I'm gonna take this out. And uh, you do not ever wanna get poopy snake water on you. It's the most disgusting thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I was trying to get the water bin out and I filled it up too high and she took a poop in there and I poured stinky water down my leg and it was, I won't lie, I cried. It smelled like a sewer. I just kind of scrub up the whole bottom. Oh, there's poop in the corner. Great. And then we gotta get all the soap out. So I take a dry paper towel and I do one big wipe down first. And then I go back a second and a third time with my water and remove all the soap. I just love her color. Oh, she's gonna go to her water bowl, I guarantee it. All right, well, thanks for tuning in for my random plant video. I think I'll do more like this if uh, people are interested enough in it. Maybe I'll give you guys an animal tour as well in another video. See you soon. Oh, I'm sorry, did you think the video was over? Because it's not. 
Um, I just randomly decided to keep this video going because today is a beautiful sunny day. It's a Sunday. I have nothing to do. I don't have training today. So we're going to spend a little more time together with more gardening stuff because I just went to Home Depot and bought all these plants. And then also I got this from someone off of Facebook Marketplace. It's a Monstera and it's super cool. So anyway, I'm going to continue this video with my day, but first, espresso. The first thing you have to do is grind the beans. This is such a fancy little thing that my husband got me. The best Christmas gift ever. Honestly, I just have to have more coffee before I start all this gardening stuff because I kind of have a lot to do. I literally went to Home Depot to get topsoil and sand for the grass and I ended up coming home with like six new plants. So anyway, um, I'm already hyper and I haven't even had this coffee yet. This is about to be amazing. I should totally start a coffee bar called like Jungle Coffee or something. Well, maybe someday when I'm done with track, but you know. Okay, are we ready for this? Also, can we just talk about how Target has that amazing little $5, I'm gonna sit back down over here. That little $5 section at the front, it's like three to $5. I got this cute little basket for five bucks at Target. And uh, look how freaking cute this Monstera looks just popped down in this basket. How cute is that? Out of my chair, you're in my way. Okay, I'll move you with my butt. You better move. Okay, now we have coffee. I don't even know what this was called. It was like English something. I don't know, but it's a perennial and I'm gonna plant it in my front garden. But I would, as I was saying, I have coffee and not tea, which is not very English of me. It's very American, actually. America, let's go. Okay, be right back. I gotta go put on my gardening clothes and... Okay, we're ready. Okay, it says English Daisy. See, I told you it was English. It's probably a terrible accent. I'm so sorry to anyone who's English. Um, anyway, part sun perennial, part sun. Okay, so we don't want them baking. Okay, this is gonna take me a minute. I'm exploring, exploring my own front yard. No, I did not have a plan as to where I was gonna put these. I just thought they were pretty. And so I bought them. Okay, I totally just had the best idea. I don't know why this took me so long. I'm gonna put them in this, I have a whiskey barrel in my backyard. They look great out here. Hi, Nim. Hey, baby. Hello. We want the English daisies. So step one is I'm gonna actually take out these bulbs that I have that are um, sprouting and I'm gonna plant them in the ground instead. Plus I really wanna put these in this whiskey barrel. So let's do it. So with daffodils and tulips, what you're supposed to do, which is what I did, but I forgot, is you buy the bulb and you plant it actually in the fall before winter. And then the bulb sits in the ground all winter. And the cold is what tells it, hey, it's winter, spring is gonna come eventually. And when spring comes and it warms up, that's when the bulb does this. But, uh, so we're not supposed to transplant them right now, but I just really want to, so. I think they'll survive though if I do it right. Okay, I think I've got all the bulbs out of here. So now I'm gonna put some new soil and we're gonna plant these beautiful, I keep forgetting what they are, English daisies, English daisies, which are perennials. So I shouldn't have to touch this again. They'll die off in the winter and then come back next spring. So get to enjoy them. Oops. Now, a lot of people say to like break up the roots. You know, I don't like to do that because I've had a lot of experiences where I do it too much and it kind of kills it. I mean, I'd say it's okay to like give it a little massage, like, hey, it's okay to grow in a new direction, but you don't have to. And as you can see, I don't really like to wear gardening gloves. There's just something like, that I just love about soil in my hands. And yes, oh, I cut myself <laughs> right as I said. I don't like to wear gloves. Look what I just did. 
So you should probably wear gloves. These guys are settled and I just decided I'm gonna take some of these bulbs and put them back in here, kind of around the front here. So I'll use some over here and I'll go put some of these bulbs in the ground by my house. Now, kind of the, the trick to watering flowers that you just planted is try to put the water right at the roots. You don't need to get the whole plant wet. It'll make the flowers all wilty and whatever. And also, another trick to watering is you really don't want to water flowers in the middle of the hot sun in the middle of the day. So it's okay right now because these guys are actually in the shade, but if the sun is directly on the plant, don't water it at that time. Wait until it's in the shade or move it to the shade if you can to water it because it'll kill the plant. Well, it'll make it suffer. <laughs> My bulbs are replanted. Just gotta give them water and we can move on to the next thing. Okay, and the last thing that I wanna do outside before we go into the indoor gardening is um, I need to put some sand and topsoil on my sod that is uneven that I did last uh, fall. So I'm gonna try to even that out a little bit before the grass starts to grow this spring. If I put some, some sand on top, I don't know, maybe it'll kind of even out the, the divots. Now, I just wanna say I am not a gardening professional. I'm just a girl who likes to grow things. So I'm on this journey with you. So drop me a comment if you have an idea about one of my projects or something I could be doing better. Let's go. trying to fill in this divot. This is where they buried a electrical cord to my shed. So I put some sand and topsoil over it and hopefully the grass will grow up through just fine and it'll be nice and even and beautiful. <sighs> Y'all, gardening, well, yard work is, let me move this up here. <sighs> Come on. Yard work is utterly exhausting. I love it, but oh my gosh, I am so tired and I didn't really do that much. Anyway, um, ooh, a little tip. I keep this toothbrush by the sink, the kitchen sink. Do not get it mixed up, but I keep it here specifically to get the dirt out from under my nails because I'm that weirdo who doesn't want to use gardening gloves very often. I'm also cleaning that cut. I've got a couple more things I want to do. But let me get this, get my hands cleaned up here first. I don't know about you, but I love coconut water. Ah, this one's my favorite. Let me get some ice. This is America. We need ice. I think one of the first differences I noticed when I was started traveling to Europe a few years ago, culturally is Americans, we love ice and you go to Europe and they don't use ice hardly in drinks. And as an American, you're sitting there like, where's my extra, extra large cup to the fill to the top with ice? And they'll bring you at a restaurant, you have to ask for it normally. And they'll bring you like four ice cubes. And I'm like, <laughs> horrified. <laughs> We're a little pampered. <laughs> ice and air conditioning hardly exists in Europe. I live in Arkansas, but grew up in South Carolina. So when you're in the South, you can't live without air conditioning. I can tell you that much. Okay, we're back here at our table. Um, I decided I wanna check out my new Monstera, give it a little TLC, really inspect it, see how good of condition it's in. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is use this neem oil. It's, um, well, neem oil is from, I believe a type of, what is neem? Here, I can read it to you. Um, neem oil is 100% cold pressed from neem seed kernel. The neem tree has been used for centuries by people in India for various purposes. Neem oil is an excellent foliar spray for healthy plants. Is it bad that I don't know? Oh, foliar probably means meant for foliage. Oh. Genius, sarcasm. 
Okay, so I mixed neem oil with some water and a little bit of Castile soap to make a spray. And I'm gonna use it to kind of wipe down these leaves and how, see how they're like a tiny bit dusty. And I'm also, I'm also gonna do this with my other Monstera. But it's just a good thing to do when you've got a plant with a leaves that have a lot of surface area is to wipe them down gently. And you can actually just use a little bit of like water, but I like to use neem oil because also it has, it keeps away bugs and it has antifungal properties. So, and it's organic, it's all natural. We should give my new Monstera a name. What shall its name be? We also have to take this off. $5 tag, gone. I have an idea. How about you guys name it for me? Drop a comment with what I should name my Monstera. Shake it up. Now I will warn you, neem oil has kind of a funky smell. Like, it smells a little bit funky. If you've never smelled it before, you'll be like, what is that? But it's not bad, it's just a little unusual. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend buying it like this. This is the first time I bought it like this and it's kind of chunky. You can buy it in like a liquid spray, which I find has worked better. A nice shine to the leaf that I just wiped. See, nice and shiny. And then compared, I mean, that's still shiny, but it definitely looks more shiny. Once I wipe this guy's leaves, I'm gonna go put him in his quarantine room and I'm not gonna mess with him. That's the, I think the first mistake people make when they get home with a new plant is they wanna repot it. When you buy a plant at the store, a house plant, don't repot it when you get home. That is the quickest way to kill something is to, I mean, it's already been stressed out, you know, probably sitting in bad lighting and temperatures and humidities at the stores, especially if you go to like Lowe's or something um, or Home Depot a place that's not a plant store. They weren't sitting in a nice, you know, greenhouse with ideal situations. They're stressed. Don't do much to them. Like it's okay if you wanna wipe down the leaves and, but honestly, I wouldn't even water it unless the plant is struggling and needs water immediately. I would just literally take home your new plant and pop it in an ideal lighting situation and leave it be for a few days. And then you can evaluate that it needs water or not. You're going to quarantine, let's go. We're here in my office room. Um, gonna hang out here by this window until we're all clear. And it is over here, I do have another plant right here. These are my uh, carnivorous plants, my pitcher plant, and my dying Venus flytrap. Well, not dying, just not growing at the time because all winter I've had to put them in here. But once it warms up, I actually put that whole tank on my back porch and they just go crazy. Oh, hey Cortez. How you doing? You enjoying that clean cage? I know you are. I know I am. Smells nice. All right, that's my fish tank. Sorry, I'm breathing heavy. You know, doing a lot over here. That's my fish tank. I love my, it's a freshwater tank. And I also painted that base very long time ago. All right, back to plants. I really wanna tell you guys about this plant. Um, this is my, it's called Tradescantia, and this is a um, Tradescantia Nanook, N-A-N-O-U-K. Tradescantia has a lot of varieties, but anyway, uh, these are little clippings that are finally rooting. It actually took a bit longer than I anticipated, but, I'm excited to plant them in some soil. It's actually okay to go ahead and put them in soil when the roots, I just put them, you can root them in soil. I just like to put them in water so I see the roots. It's like satisfying. Um, but I bought this cute teeny tiny little pot today um, cause you don't want to put them in a huge pot cause they're not going to soak up a lot of water. So you don't want to give them root rot right off the bat. So a teeny tiny pot is perfect, but they're gonna look so cute in this little teeny pot. And then I'll go put them in some ideal lighting and hopefully they'll grow pretty quick. But oh my gosh, let me go show you the mother plant. This is my favorite plant. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this plant. I love this plant. I'm, I'm afraid to pick it up because I don't want the limbs to break. I don't know if they will, I don't think they will, but 
Look how pretty. And she's growing little flowers for me right now, which I might have to cut off because it takes a plant a lot of energy to flower. These are cuttings from her also, but you can tell, you know, they're not super happy yet. Once they get more roots, I'm sure they'll turn more pink because that's from the same plant. See that? There's a big difference. I need a little break here, but, uh, cause I'm tired. But my birds, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the bird cage and we can hang out with Juniper. Come on. Ah, here we go. She's a linolated parakeet. It's also a barred parakeet and she just pooped on me. It's okay. That's why I have on this shirt. It's my garden dirt shirt. I should put that on this shirt. Dirt shirt. <laughs> All right, step up. Good girl. Go back to your cage. Good girl. This is about it for today. I really want y'all to drop me some comments and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see, whether it's about the plant stuff or the animals, um, pole vault stuff, like what specifically would you like to see? All right, see y'all next time. Mim says, see you next time.